A USD economics professor says that the numbers aren't adding up when it comes to the ballot measure that would raise South Dakota's tobacco tax. In November, voters in the state will decide the fate of initiated measure 25, which would raise the tax on a pack of cigarettes by a dollar, with most of the money earmarked for technical education tuition. But as Kelloland's Perry Groton reports, the professor who's been crunching the numbers says the language in the measure is confusing to voters. When we change the price of a product, how much does the quantity demanded change? USD professor Travis Lettler thought doing a deep dive into initiated measure 25 would be a good real world lesson for his economics students. And I was so impressed by it. I was like, as an economist, look at all these numbers. But when it came to calculating the conclusions drawn in the measure's fiscal note at the bottom of the ballot, the math just wasn't working out for Lettler. I kind of had to take a step back and say, what are the assumptions that they're making and where did these numbers come from? Then Lettler found the problem. The fiscal note says the price of cigarettes increases by an eye-popping 65.4 percent. In reality, the price of a pack of cigarettes will go up by one dollar, basically from a little bit over six dollars a pack to a little bit over seven dollars a pack. When you do that percent change, it's about a 16 percent change in the price. Lettler says the 65 percent number should refer to the tax rate change, not the change in price. An important distinction when it comes to calculating revenue generated from the tobacco tax. Lettler thinks it's an honest typo, but it will confuse voters. In no way do I think this affects the ballot measure at all. It's just in how it was presented and the information that people have when they do go to vote. Lettler says there are a lot of numbers packed into this short ballot summary on initiated measure 25. So he says it's important for all South Dakota voters to do their economics homework before they head to the polls. In Vermillion, Perry Groton, Kelo Land News. Now we reached out to the sponsor of initiated measure 25, Sioux Falls Republican Mark Mickelson, who says he has confidence in the Legislative Research Council's calculations that the $1 a pack tax will generate an additional $25 million for the state. We also asked Attorney General Marty Jackley if the information presented in the fiscal note could open South Dakota to a legal challenge over the election results of measure 25. In this particular instance, um, there, I suppose there could be a challenge in relation to a fiscal note, um, but that is something that really I think what it boils down to is a, a disagreement between the professor and the legislature on revenue. Jagley says the fiscal note in no way affects the conclusions of the attorney general's explanation of the measure. So a beautiful